Next first question for Ray Sean. Um, what was working for you in the second half that wasn't in the first? I mean, you didn't have any points in the first half and obviously made a lot of shots in the second half. What was working for you in the second half? Uh, my teammate, uh, my coach, and the coaching staff just uh, always keeping a positive vibe with the whole team and just telling me to keep my head in the game. And uh, let it come to me. You know, don't, just don't rush it. Including Nick, uh, just talking to me during the game. Uh, just giving me confidence during the whole game. Nick, what, what did this win mean based off you know, the last game and getting the first and second win of everything? <clears throat> How important was tonight? Um, it was a great win for us. Um, I, I know it helped us out a lot coming back home in front of our fans. I think we had like 2,700 students um, there supporting us. So, you know, that was huge. And um, it was it was huge getting this win, first win, SEC win under our, our belt. And we'll be ready to go to Auburn Saturday. Um, for both guys, you, know, you talked a lot about this year about you know, building on momentum and handling success. And you have a halftime lead today. You all score ran through, I think, 11 6 in the first few minutes. You all score by 18 over the whole second half. You know, what allowed you guys to just not have those second half collapses? Uh, just talking to the team, keep, uh, uh, just be positive with each other, uh, and the whole team just come together, really. Uh, we all talk to each other, uh, the players on the bench talk to each other, the players on the court talk to each other, and the timeouts we talk to each other at the same time, just keeping it positive and uh, nothing neg uh, negative during, uh, during the game, just to keep that lead, because uh, now we're starting to uh, grow on that. Uh, we're starting to know if we come out with a good second half, we know we can play with a lot of teams, so that's our main focus. Yeah, um, like Rashawn said, just to piggyback off of that, that's something that we really tried to focus on. Um, you know, we struggled with it throughout the year. And like tonight, we did a, a great job of just coming out in the second half, staying focused. Yeah, plus, uh, you led only 56-55 when Coach Green called a timeout, put you and uh, Derek back in. What keyed the decisive run there? I think it was like an 18-2 to two run that that came away. Um, I think, you know, just coming in and bringing intensity, you know, feeding off of my teammates. And then I think a lot of guys started knocking down shots. It was a you know, huge um, turtle. Turtle came up big, Derek, you know, Rayshon, they just started hitting shots and the shots started falling and we continued to play solid defense. Rayshon, uh, three point shooting for this team uh, against Tennessee. You guys struggled early in this game. You struggled and you guys got really hot towards the end when you were waiting on your tail. How uh, important is that part of uh, what you guys do? Uh, it's a, a main focus in practice. Uh, we know we, uh, we had to get better, and our main focus was just uh, hit shots and get better at it in practice and just knock down shots that we know we knocked down. We did for the last eight to seven months yes, as a come. team. So uh, everybody getting confidence back. And just uh, tell them when you hit a shot, great job. And if you don't, you know, you'll get, it, you'll get the next one. So that's our main focus, you know, not to, uh, never bring nobody down. Just inside for both of y'all, just inside 10 minutes, you guys got a couple of consecutive three-pointers and turnovers. And that kind of sealed the game right there. Around that time, what were y'all saying to each other? What was Coach Creamy saying to you guys? What was the conversation like? Was that sort of like the dagger moment for y'all? Yeah, we just we just wanted to finish the game strong. You know, we felt like we wanted to just keep pushing. And like right then, we just we put it put a nail in the coffin. Um, some guys hit some big shots, and we got some big stops, uh, including that uh, we being coaches on the court with each other. Uh, you know, helping each other out. Uh, the ten things that the coaches don't see. Just talking to each other when we come back to the sideline, just tell the coach what's going on and they adjust to it. So that's our, that was our main focus. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead. One more thing. Um, I just want to give credit to um, Coach Amir and the GAs and the coaching staff. You know, they did a great job with the scout, um, with Vanderbilt, the scout team, and everybody. I know you kept talking about everybody staying positive, but was there a sentiment? I mean, were you getting frustrated after the Tennessee game in the first half tonight? You know, did that uh, I'd say the Tennessee game, uh, the whole team was frustrated. Uh, I was frustrated because uh, you know we played bad, and the first half uh, I think I was letting it linger in my head, but then I uh, sat on the bench and just thought about it and let it go. The second half I just came up with a positive attitude. Any more questions? I guess if you consider everything tonight, you know, do you guys feel like this is the most complete game you guys played this year? You know, from beginning to end. Uh, it's one off. Yeah, I would say it's, it's one off. Close to it, you know, just just the way we. Just um, came out in the first half solid, and then the second half, you know, having that surge and just staying locked in and not letting the game get away from us like we have a, a few times this year. So, recently, Rachel, was this the best half of, uh, of your Georgia career? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, just being positive and just staying, uh, just staying focused, you know. Uh, just my coaches and teammates just being positive with me and not letting me down and not, you know, just saying everything positive, let, uh, get my hair right. So yeah, that's probably my best half. Definitely. Any more questions?
Thanks, guys.